Hi, my name is Gary. I'm a park ranger with the National Park Service, and we need your help protecting streams. New Zealand mud snails have been found in a few of our lakes and streams. Malibu Creek and Pyro Creek are a couple of these streams. You can identify these snails because they're an eighth of an inch of size, about the size of a grain of sand, typically brown and black in color. Now here's the deal. Mud snails crowd out native insects that are food for aquatic wildlife, including endangered species like the steelhead trout, arroyo chub, western pond turtle, and the California red-legged frog. Mud snails can take over an entire creek. A single snail can result in a colony of more than 40 million snails in just one year. As you go from place to place, these tiny hitchhikers easily can attach to things like boots, clothing, sports gear, tires, pets, horses, and the spread from one stream to another. There's no known method to eradicate New Zealand mud snails once they become established in our streams and lakes. There is some good news. You can stop their spread. You can avoid water contact whenever possible. But if you can't prevent water contact, there are some simple steps that you can do. Don't be a carrier. On damp services, New Zealand mud snails can live for weeks out of water. Avoid moving damp or wet gear from one creek to another. Gear like hiking boots, sandals, your bike tires, horses, and your pets. The second thing you can do is keep it dry. After every trip into a creek or lake, inspect your gear. Look for things like mud or things clinging to your hip waders or your sandals and remove them. And when you get home, you can put it in the dryer for two hours or stick it outside for 48 hours in temperatures above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, it only takes one snail to infest a pristine creek. So do your part and prevent the spread of this invasive species. And visit the website www.healthebay.org for more information. Thanks.